An all-new Extreme Makeover Home Edition, Sunday, 8, 7 Central, only on ABC. Sunday's number one show. You got my daughter the pill? And Sunday's number one new hit makes Sunday the biggest night on television. And for the final touch, chicken cutlets. No, they're boobs, Mom. They're, they're boobs. First, get your motor started. Don't hijack a Ferrari if you don't know how to drive. An all-new Desperate Housewives and an unforgettable evening. You and I are going to pretend that this night never happened. An all-new Brothers and Sisters. It all starts Sunday at 9, 8 Central after an all-new Extreme Makeover Home Edition only on ABC. Good evening, I'm Wayne Carter. They tried to oust him from office tonight. Why Norfolk Vice Mayor Paul Riddick cannot be recalled. 13 News is next. Kinder Vision Child Safety Project, presented by 13 News. I'm David Allen. Kids, do you know what to do if someone in a car tries to talk to you or tries to get you into the car? You should yell no and run away in the opposite direction. Go directly to a house, school, or safe place and tell an adult you trust. Then immediately call 911. That's the best way to stay safe. Kinder Vision, presented by Smithfield Foods and UPS Stores. Some artists create truly grand works with paint. Others work in clay or marble. This holiday weekend, you can create a truly grand work in furniture. Right now at Grand Furniture, you can take advantage of store-wide savings on the home furnishings you want. Plus, Grand is making this special offer that makes the furniture you want affordable. Come and express yourself in furniture and turn your home into a truly grand work of art. That's grand. Real furniture for real people. That's grand. 13 News at 11 starts right now. New tonight, a mess on a motorcycle. A man is rushed to the ER after the crash. But the big story on 13 News tonight, the Riddick recall. Why the vice mayor won't be going anywhere anytime soon. Good evening, everyone. I'm Wayne Carter. Vanessa has the night off. They were supposed to go door to door tonight getting petitions to oust Norfolk's vice mayor, but the law is on Paul Riddick's side. The city charter states you can't recall a council member in the first year of their term, and Riddick is only six months in. 13 News reporter Mary Nelson is standing by live outside City Hall with the big story tonight. Mary? Wayne, it looks like the next move is up to city council members after this petition drive is basically a moot point. They can choose whether or not to take away Riddick's title of vice mayor or simply put this week-long war of words behind them. I will not sit by idly and continue to see young black men and now young black women being mistreated by the officers that are paid by taxpayers' dollars. Norfolk Vice Mayor Paul Riddick offered no apologies all week for his attack on the Norfolk Police Department, his claims of officer racism triggering a week of controversy. By Friday, a petition drive to remove Riddick from office had been organized. But just before the drive was to become aggressive, with Riddick critics going door to door seeking signatures, the discovery of a provision in the city charter that states council members can't be recalled during the first year of their term. Riddick's term, just six months old, began in July. Riddick supporters like Lenwood Hines were happy for the reprieve. That gave the people a chance to sit back and really, uh, you know, think about what's been said and what's being done. The petition drive's loss of steam seem obvious when we spoke with Ken Roberts, who was leading the recall effort. Here he is earlier in the week. Race, we had, everybody's had enough about race. Passionate then, Saturday on the phone, he told 13 News he had no idea what was happening with the drive, not touching it after hearing about the inability to recall. Mr. Riddick's recent remarks about the Norfolk Police Department demonstrate a total lack of respect for law enforcement. Sheriff Bob McCabe, who publicly came out in support of the recall effort, released this statement Saturday. Between now and July 1st, we'll see what happens, he said. Maybe by then, things will take care of themselves. Now, some people, including the mayor, have said that they're anxious to put this all behind them. If council members want to make a move, they can do so at the next city council meeting, or we may just see this all fade away. Live in Norfolk, Mary Nelson, 13 News. And new since 6, fire at a beach nursing home. Flames broke out around 6.45 tonight at the Commons on Princess Anne Road. We're told a grease fire started in one of the rooms burning a resident. Paramedics rushed one patient to the hospital. No word on his condition tonight. Firefighters kept the flames from spreading to the rest of the complex. Also new tonight, a big mess on Georgetown Boulevard Military Highway when a motorcycle lost control. The crash happened around 6.30 tonight. 13 News learned the bike's driver had head injuries 
as well as leg trauma. Paramedics rushed the driver to the hospital. Police are still looking into the crash tonight. And now to Accomack County, where one person is dead and many more hurt after a car crash on Route 13. Police say a car lost control, hit another, and they both wound up off the road. 83-year-old Clara Onley died. Six others hurt. The driver who started it all faces charges tonight. An investigation is underway to determine how a car left the road and ended up in the water of the Hague. This was the scene around 8 this morning. Police say the two men inside the car escaped unharmed. It took divers from the Norfolk Police Department several hours to get the car out of the water. People living on the Hague say this really raised their eyebrows. Reckless driving, I guess, that would end up that way. It's a pretty long stretch from the road into the water. I've seen this lake a lot of times, and I didn't think it was that deep to even bury a car. Police are not sure if drinking or speeding were factors in the crash. Charges are pending against the driver. New information on that small plane that took off from Newport News and crashed in South Carolina. A preliminary report released yesterday says the pilot tries to land in dense fog at the airport in Columbia, South Carolina. It's believed the plane clipped several trees and then hit the ground about a mile away from a nearby airport. The pilot and two passengers died in the crash. A bus brawl leaves two Newport News High School students in hot water tonight. Police say a 16-year-old girl pulled a box cutter on another girl from Minchville High School yesterday. The teen then threw the blade to a third student who wouldn't give it up to police. Officers got control and the two girls face charges tonight. Well, tonight family members remember a Norfolk-based sailor killed in a submarine accident. Senior Chief Petty Officer Thomas Higgins of Chesapeake died after he was knocked off the U.S. Minneapolis St. Paul last month. Petty Officer Second Class Michael Holtz was also killed in the accident. Today, friends and family gathered in Chesapeake to remember Higgins for the hero that he is and for his devotion to the Navy. Higgins served as the chief of the vessel aboard the sub. A memorial service is set this weekend for a Hampton Road soldier killed in Iraq. Army Specialist Eric Caldwell was the first person from Gloucester to die in the war. Caldwell was set to head back home in just a few days. His memorial service is scheduled for Sunday. Now to Iraq. That's where the country's Prime Minister is supporting President Bush's new war strategy. Prime Minister Nouri al-Malaki called the Bush plan, quote, identical to our strategy. President Bush is sending nearly 22,000 more U.S. troops to fight the war in Iraq. It will also mean extended tours for some troops already on the ground. Well, the increase of troops in Iraq will not require any more Virginia National Guard troops to deploy. That's the word from the state's top military officer. Under the Pentagon's new mobilization plan, Guard and Reserve members will be mobilized for a year. The current practice calls for 16 to 24 months of mobilization. Well, there's much more ahead from 13 News. Two missing boys gone missing years apart found together in Missouri. Tonight, the latest on how the kids are doing and on the suspect. Plus, a deadly accident at a coal mine in West Virginia. A collapse kills two miners. We'll tell you what's being done to keep the others working there safe. I'm tracking a big storm system in the center part of the country that'll bring big changes to our weather in the next several days. I'll let you know what those changes are coming up in the Weather Lab forecast. Got stuff that you just don't want anymore? Want to get some money for it? WBEC.com classifieds has your answer. Post whatever you want. Free. Post as much as you want. Free. Post it all, including the kitchen sink, for free. WBEC.com classifieds. Free at last. When sinus pressure from a cold or allergy start to build, all you want is relief. Relief from sinus pressure, from feeling so stuffed up, so congested, you might just blow. That's why there's Sudafed PE. The medicine in Sudafed PE is clinically shown to relieve nasal congestion in minutes. <sighs> Sudafed PE. Get your head back where it belongs. And for longer-lasting relief, ask your pharmacist for Sudafed 12-hour or 24-hour. They're behind the counter. 
At 11 a.m. Sunday, every price in Virginia's big furniture store drops big. As much as 65% off big. Only once a year on Big Sunday, Haynes drops this $2,000 solid pine bedroom to $888. Big Sunday means big discounts on all furniture, mattresses, carpet, and rugs. 16 pages of examples in your Sunday paper. Get your order in by 7 p.m. Big Sunday and take the next two years to pay with no interest ever. One day, you get the big discounts on everything. Big Sunday at Haynes. Some great symbols of distinction and strength are found in North Carolina, including these. The Correctional Officers of Pasquotank Correctional Institution in nearby Elizabeth City, North Carolina. If a good salary and benefits, a good work schedule, excellent training, and great opportunities for career advancement interest you, we want you on North Carolina's team of distinction. You must be a U.S. citizen at least 20 years old with a high school diploma or GED. Call toll-free 1-877-NC-BADGE and get your Correctional Officer Career Packet from the Pasquotank Correctional Institution today. Looking for a great diaper that costs less? Watch this. Loves has premium leakage protection for less than the pricier brands. So take the change to Loves Challenge. Buy a pack, love them, or your money back. The legend lives. Mustang, a bold, powerful, contemporary version of history's most celebrated muscle car. Fastback, convertible, Shelby, California Special, GT. Where else can you find so much fun and excitement? The legendary Mustang at a Beach and Barton price. Come see, even if you're not in the market, just for the fun of it. The legend, the price, the service, the best of everything. Beach Ford, Barton. The amazing story of two boys abducted years apart and found together yesterday took a more normal turn today. Both Missouri families were reunited with their sons. 13 News reporter Eric Hong has the developing story tonight. In two remarkable appearances Saturday, the message was the same. It's good to be home, whether you've been away four days or four years. <laughs> ben Ownby and Sean Hornbeck both looked well and at ease with their families after they were rescued Friday. Ownby had been the target of an intense search since he was kidnapped Monday afternoon. A tip from his friend about a white Nissan pickup truck and two alert officers miles away led police to the Kirkwood, Missouri home of 41-year-old Michael Devlin. There they found Ben along with 15-year-old Sean Hornbeck, missing since October 2002. Sean's parents said they had never given up hope. And then the next words were, we think we found Sean. We're 95% sure that we found Sean and that he's alive. And those were the sweetest words I've ever heard in my life. Hornbeck's parents led a national search for their child long after authorities stopped looking. Both families had little to say about Michael Devlin. Now that we got our son back, we're, we're going to think about him. The FBI is considering federal charges against him. Local prosecutors are looking into the possibility he might have been involved with other missing boys. In either case... It's my hope that this guy never sees the outside of a, of a jail cell in his, in his uh, natural life. Tonight, the two families aren't thinking about recriminations, only about picking up where they left off. Four days ago and four years ago. Eric Hong, ABC News, Richwoods, Missouri. A coal mine collapsed, buries and kills two miners in West Virginia. The accident happened this morning. The miners were doing something dangerous by name, retreat mining. It's when you get the last coal you can before the roof falls in. Well, 35 other miners were doing it, and they all got out safely. The mine has been shut down while police investigate tonight. Well, the state of North Carolina is now taking over the Duke University sexual assault case. Durham prosecutor Mike Nafong asked to be taken off the case against three Duke lacrosse players. The case has suffered a couple setbacks in recent weeks. First, the stripper who claims she was assaulted admitted she was not raped. Then she said that only one of the players raped her while the others watched. The state will take over the case now. Well, the winter weather hitting the middle section of the country is causing headaches for thousands of airline passengers. Hundreds of flights have been canceled and delayed at Dallas-Fort Worth. It's all because an Arctic cold front is bringing ice and snow from New Mexico all the way north to Illinois. Dallas is trying to get as many flights 
out as possible while, while making sure that planes are de-iced. The winter storm warning will remain into effect until Sunday afternoon. From the 13 News Weather Lab, here's meteorologist Evan Stewart. That same storm system will bring some big changes to the weather here in Hampton Roads. A big cool down is on the way, but still a couple of warm days before that cold air is set to move in. As we take a look at live high definition weather lab radar, sweeping clear here locally, although there are a few sprinkles off towards the north up through northern Virginia, up around Alexandria and Washington, D.C. One or two of those could drift south, so the forecast for tonight is calling for mostly cloudy skies with just a stray sprinkle possible off towards the north and southwesterly winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Overnight lows in the lower 50s. Now earlier this morning we had a few showers around. They were moving offshore by 11 o'clock and through the day we saw a mix of clouds and sunshine. You can see some of the moisture off towards the north with a weak front up there. And again, we could see a stray shower to drift off towards the south. But the bigger story apart from the eastern half of the country is really this big storm system out towards the west producing the heavy rain, some of the snow, freezing rain and sleet back through parts of Texas, Oklahoma and even into areas of Missouri and the snow continues up towards Wisconsin. It's that storm system that will bring in some of the colder air. You can see right now it's 52 in Louisville, 58 in Memphis, but 33 in St. Louis, 30 in Chicago. These lighter blues indicate 20s and teens, so that cold air is out there and is set to move into Hampton Roads. But again, not for a couple days. We got up to 70 degrees today after morning low of 49. Our normal high this time of year is 48 degrees. So what about our 70 degree days in January? Well, if we look back and average things out all the way from 1874 to 2007, we average one or two days. Uh, January of hitting 70 degrees. Now the most 70 degree days in a January was back in 1950 when we have had nine days that hit 70 degrees and so far this year we've had five days hit 70 degrees or more and it looks like we could see another couple coming up here as we head into Sunday and Monday. Right now 57 on the south side, 63 on the peninsula with southwesterly winds at 10 miles per hour and around the region 59 in Wakefield, 63 in Newport News, Williamsburg, 64 up in West Point, same thing in Melfa, 62 in Virginia Beach, 56 in Elizabeth City and 59 in Kill Devil Hill. So overnight mostly cloudy skies again there could be a stray sprinkler or two off towards the north and fairly cloudy conditions around for your Sunday but temperatures will still be up to the upper 60s to near 70. And depending on the amount of sunshine as we head into the Martin Luther King holiday on Monday, we could see highs into the lower to mid 70s before the changes roll in with that cold front right through here. It'll move in Tuesday, uh, Monday night into Tuesday and bring us the colder weather by the middle of the week. So for overnight, mostly cloudy skies, a stray sprinkle off towards the north lows in the lower 50s and tomorrow mostly cloudy, 70 in Septa, 71 Newsom's and Fentress, 69 at NAS Norfolk and 70 degrees at Oceana. Off towards the north, 61 in Franktown, 66 in Ark, 67 at Langley, 65 Barnesville and 64 in Yorktown. And finally, northeastern North Carolina, 68 in Elizabeth City, 66 in Corolla and 69 in Wanchies with winds out of the southwest. Southwesterly winds on the bay and the ocean tomorrow with two to three foot waves on the bay and out on the seas. Low tide at Sewell's Point 1129 in the morning and the seven day forecast where your weekend is always in view. 70 on Sunday, 72 Monday, and then the cold front moves through and temperatures will fall from the 50s into the 40s as we go through the day on Tuesday with a good chance of showers. If the cold air rushes in fast enough and the rain hangs around late Tuesday night, we could see a few snow showers before things clear out on Wednesday with a high of only 38 degrees. 44 on Thursday with mostly sunny skies and 49 Friday into Saturday. So big changes are on the way. Don't forget, WVEC.com. It has the full forecast available at your fingertips 24 hours a day. All right, Evan, thanks so much. You're welcome. You, you know, we have these laptops here right. on the set so we can yes, keep we up do. with breaking news. Yeah, tonight, Don't say it yet. Don't say it yet. No, I can say it. I've been keeping track <laughs> of... Oh, your beloved New Orleans. Yeah. My beloved New Orleans Saints. I just realized it's a deal of thunder. Uh -huh. you gotta come, you got to come back You have to come and catch back. it. Well, okay. we got college hoops, too. Right. I know right. who won. We, but okay. we do, too. But okay. we got to let them know, too. All right. Just ahead, uh, ODU in a big showdown with Drexel and college hoops. The same could be said in Blacksburg, where the Hokies were stamping a special win against the top-ranked Tar Heels. This weather segment is brought to you by Dodge. Watch Janet Roach and LaSalle Blanks on 13 News Daybreak. Get dumped and get the furniture full price stores don't even want you to know exists. Brand name Overstock's canceled orders and one-of-a-kinds go 30 to 60% off price at the dump. You're on Business Talk, so Ken, what does it take to be a winner? Commitment. you got to be willing to do whatever it takes. 
At Bank of the Commonwealth, we are proud to have a long-standing relationship with Ken Young and the Norfolk Tides. We share his attitude that commitment to worthwhile goals makes good things happen. That's one reason Ken's banked with us for over 30 years. And a good reason why you should come bank with your neighbors, too, at Bank of the Commonwealth. I did it. I did it. I did it. I finally did it. I called 1-888-SMILE-INFO. I found a great dentist in my area and had a complete smile makeover. It was the best thing I ever did. Don't be embarrassed anymore. I'm so much more confident. 1-888-SMILE-INFO is your connection to the highly trained, experienced cosmetic dentists in the Hampton Roads area. Like Dr. Peter Kensley in Virginia Beach or Dr. Stuart Oglesby in Williamsburg. Now is the time to call 1-888-SMILE-INFO. Why wait to be happier? If we all washed in cold with Tide cold water, we could save enough energy to light up the homes in a thousand towns. Save loads of energy with Tide cold water. Join Scott Cash live on ESPN Radio, Mondays at 4. At Value City Furniture, thousands of new home furnishings are on their way, so we're making room with our big January clearance sale. Find big savings in every department now at Value City Furniture. Life's full of surprises. Be ready with farmers for auto, life, home, and financial services. Meet Greg Manzel, District Manager. Farmers creates opportunity for career fulfillment and success within a powerful and flourishing organization. Watch Jeopardy! Weeknights at 7.30 on WVEC TV 13. And now, 13 News Sports with Brian Smith. Here's a nice trivia question for you. When was the last time Virginia Tech knocked off the top-ranked team in the country? Answer, they were in the Metro Conference back in 1983 when they took out Memphis. Today, another chance at number one, North Carolina coming to town. The many faces of Tech head coach Seth Greenberg. Oh, man, this last one, this is called foreshadowing. Look at the look on his face. Yeah, that says it all. Heels come out strong, Mr. All-Everything. Tyler Hansbro, tough inside, hooping the foul. He led Carolina with 19. But Tech went on a run of epic proportions in the first half. A.D. Vassalo for three. He had 17. Then Jamon Gordon on the break, off the steal, goes in for the layup. Gordon also had 17. They led by 20 at the break. But hold on. Faster than you could stay, Dean Smith, the Tar Heels storm back. Hansbro with the dunk, Carolina within seven. Later, Ty Lawson. They get within three. Come on. But they hold off with free throws down the stretch. 94-88, your winner. Yes, oh, the humanity in Castle Coliseum. Hey, they're 3-0 and in the conference, too. Dave uh, Leto and his Virginia Cavaliers taking on Boston College. Leto said he felt something wasn't right about his club early on. They looked okay here. Sean Singletary. He had just 12 points. J.R. Reynolds led them with 21. They led at the break, but Leto's premonition was right. The Eagles pounding the board. Sean Williams with the putback. He added 19. Then off the steal, Jared Dudley going the other way to slam in two of his game-high 22 to go with 11 boards. Wahoos lose 78-73. Right here in town, Blaine Taylor and his ODU Monarchs critical game. CAA against Drexel. He didn't have anything to worry about. Three balls all over the place. Valdis Vasilis, he had 13. How about the freshman, Gerald Lee, getting involved? Drew Williamson coming up big. Team high 16 for him. Back to the underclassman, Lee, with feelings. 14 points, career high for him. The other freshman, Marsheree Neely, coming up with eight points there. The steal and layup. And, yeah, Monarchs roll 84-57. They're at James Madison on Wednesday. Delaware winds up uh, beating William and Mary. Virginia Wesleyan big over Lynchburg. Tonton Belengo with 25 points. Piedmont by two over CNU despite five captains players in double figures. Livingstone by two over Elizabeth City State on the women's side. Coppin State big over the NSU women. Uh, Morgan State, 65-61 winners over the Lady Pirates. Virginia Wesleyan, that is not a bad, that is not an incorrect score, folks. 102 to 22. They led 58-12 at the break. No mercy rule there. Livingstone losers to the Elizabeth City State women, 91 to 79. Kevin Nickelberry's Hampton Pirates back at home tonight against Morgan State. First home opener for HU since November 30th. So you knew they were happy. Rashad West steal. Game high 25 for him. Pirates miss inside. Matt Pilgrim there for the rebound. 
And yes, the deuce. Pilgrim, one of four freshman starters. Hello, Pilgrim. Looking pretty good. Finds another freshman, Mike Freeman, two of his 20. They had to go to overtime before the Bears bounced back to beat the Pirates 75-70. Dwight Freeman and his Norfolk State Spartans back at home as well tonight, taking on Coppin State. Spartans extend their lead second half. Tony Murphy for three. He led all scorers with 19. Aldevon Thomas forcing a turnover. The steal and the flush. 12 points off the bench. Spartans work it inside Calvin Brown for the deuce. He had 11 points, 14 boards. This one went down to a buzzer beater. Uh, they wind up winning 62 to 61. They improved the four and one in the MIAC. AFC Divisional Playoffs. Ray Lewis and the Baltimore Ravens. Peyton Manning and the Indy Colts. New Baltimore versus Old Baltimore. Defense doing all the talking. Manning picked by Ed Reed of the Ravens. One of two for Peyton. Steve McNair having his troubles too near the goal line. Gets picked by Newport News native Antoine Bethea. Bethea went to Howard out of the MIAC. The foot of Adam Venetieri made all the difference. How about five field goals in this game? Uh, this one from 51 yards. Colts are moving on to the AFC title game, winning 15-6. to six. Man, what a game tonight. Oh, the Saints and Eagles. Early on, Jeff Garcia airing it out 75 yards to Dante Stallworth. They jump in front 7-6. to six. They said lots of offense would be in this game. How about Reggie Bush? Bounces off, doesn't see anything, goes right. Four yards later, he made it look like it was 20 yards. Saints in front 13-6 to six, just before the break. Brian Westbrook over from a yard. 14-13. Westbrook not done. Darton right. See ya. 62-yard touchdown run. Back in front go the Eagles. But you know what? No quit in those Saints. The 11-yard pass. Drew Brees to Deuce McAllister. And yes, your Saints are going to the yeah. NFC title game for the first time. Yeah. yeah. In franchise history. They win 27 to 24. When we come back, we'll talk a little hockey and the Norfolk Admirals. Second day in a row against the Albany River Rats. Would it result in a win? Your weekends are about to get hotter, sexier, and a lot more deadly. Miami Air, man, makes people do things they never do back home. Bingo. On CSI Miami, weekends. Next on WVEC TV 13. You're watching WVEC TV, Channel 13. Looking for a great diaper that costs less? Watch this. Loves has premium leakage protection for less than the pricier brands. So take the change to Loves Challenge. Buy a pack, love them, or your money back. Hey, it's me, Mike Rowe. I was in the neighborhood, just like your Epic Pharmacy. For years, I've been telling you how at home people feel in an Epic Pharmacy, and this is what I'm talking about. You guys seem very much at home. Well, we are at home, Mike. Right. But you also feel at home in the Epic Pharmacy. Well, they're caring and they're friendly, and that's hard to find. I'm friendly and caring. Get back to personal service. Call 1-800-965-EPIC. And we're right around the corner. What time's dinner? Are you cooking? Two restaurants, eight nights, three courses, one price. Downtown Norfolk Restaurant Week is back. January 21st through the 28th, get a three-course meal for either $20 or $30. Reservations recommended. Check it out online. Come on, guys, we're running late. Your world probably moves at amazing speeds, sometimes in circles. That's why WBEC.com gets to the point. Connecting you to the news of now at work, where breaking news email alerts keep you in the loop. At home, so your updates are fast every second. When the 13 News Weather Lab calls for severe conditions, get weather alert emails wherever you are. Even on the move, information reaches you the rest of your day. WVEC.com connects you to the news of now and what's in store for tomorrow. 
Are you a homeowner who needs cash fast? Colleen Smith at North Star Lending wants to help. Between my mortgage payments and all my monthly bills, I struggled. But Colleen really helped me get my debt under control. Our home needed fixing up, but we couldn't afford another monthly payment. Colleen showed us how to use our house to pay for the improvements and still stay within our budget. Colleen Smith at North Star Lending wants to get homeowners the help they need. Call North Star Lending at 499-9301. Closed captioning of 13 News is sponsored by Dodge. Grab life by the horns. Dodge. Admirals taking on the Albany River Rats second night in a row. That's Patrick Leem. First start at net in over 10 years in Norfolk physical con conditioning. Remember, he had a, a back problem, a disc problem, but early on, no problems for the Admirals. That's Jonas Norquist, one nothing. Still in the first, Greg Johnson feeding Brian Bickle. Just that quickly, Norfolk padding their lead at 2 to nothing. Laleem looked as if he had no back issues. 32 stops, let just two by. Norfolk makes sure they didn't, that he didn't sweat it. Pierre Parento, the power play goal. Admirals add two more to win. Five to two. Final day of the annual Virginia duels over at the Hampton Coliseum, some of the nation's top high school. The black and blue division, that finds Granby a winner over Pocosin, 44-35. American high school division, Cox rolling past Johnson City of New York, 56-16. Then they beat Kellum in the finals. However, perennial state power, Great Bridge, came up short. They lost to Christiansburg, settled for third, one over Camden Catholic, 42-29. And for the first time in school history, the Apprentice School, the Builders, advanced to the Duels Finals. After beating James Madison, they fell short to South Dakota State, 31-7. And as for ODU, they finished fourth, being the University of Virginia, 23-12. First Monarchs win over the Cavaliers. Pretty impressive day. Good day, you know. Can't wipe the smile off my face. Yeah, Thanks, think it's because Brian. of the Saints, maybe? Maybe. maybe. Just maybe. Well, an elderly couple is credited for fighting off some would-be robbers. John and Margaret, Margaret Ragansey were closing up their family marker in Manchester, New Hampshire. When two masked men came in, both were carrying metal poles and demanded cash. Instead, the elderly couple pulled out a bat and a pole of their own and fought back. The would-be robbers took off and to top it all off, the couple got a trip to California to tell their story on The Tonight Show. <laughs> Well, that's 13 News tonight. 13 News continues tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. I wouldn't say it earlier. I'll say it now. Go to Super Bowl! I got to call and get <laughs> He's some calling tickets. it now. All right. All right. Have a good night, everybody. <laughs>